Hey everyone, how's it going? This time I wanted to show you a quick trick on Shadowplay, namely how to uh, make the Shadowplay save the shadow uh, recordings onto your RAM instead of hard drive or SSD. Well, not save them, but keep the temporary files on your RAM. If you don't know what a shadow mode is, it's like it's uh, constantly recording and if you press a button then it saves it into a file, so it's like a CCTV that overwrites after a time basically. It's a really good feature, if you haven't used that you need to use that. <laughs> but this is for the people who are using the shadow mode and who would like to keep it off your hard drive and put it instead uh, into the RAM instead. I am using this Killisoft RAM disk, if you go in here, here you go, Killisoft. Uh, it's not a free tool but it's extremely useful, small and it does exactly what you need, it just makes a RAM disk, no more no less. If I click in here I can explore, uh, this is the RAM disk as you can see, I have allocated 4 gigs, which gives me opportunity to go up to up to 10 minutes with the shadow recording, that is more than enough, I keep it on 5. Uh, right, anyway, if you're going to use the Killisoft RAM disk, then uh, you can mount the image, creating a RAM disk. I'm not gonna click that, because I already have it, it will delete it. Whatever you're going to use, you can just google for the RAM disks, there are tons of them, but I recommend this one, it's one of the best ones. So once you have it in here, once you can see the RAM as a disk, then all you do is just go in here, copy paste this part, go into the GeForce Experience, Preferences, Shadow Play, and under here, Temporary Files Location, you just paste the part in here, and there is no save button, you can just flick through these tabs, and go back in here, and make sure it's still the same, and that's it. And the save location, this should be different, because otherwise you can't keep the files on the RAM, you don't need them in there. This should be on your hard drive or wherever your videos are going. This is just a temporary location whenever the shadow play is recording, but doesn't save. And that's about it, uh, that's, that's it. It keeps the recordings, uh, temporary recordings on the RAM, and it's a lot better. Doesn't kill your hard drive or SSD. It's a really good feature, if you haven't done it yet, I strongly recommend doing that. And finally, uh, in the Killisoft, I want to show one more option. Uh, this, if you're going to use Killisoft, keep this option on and everything else off. This means that uh, if you close this, next time you put your computer, the RAM disk will be here, but the Killisoft is not going to run on the background or anywhere else. It simply mounts the RAM disk as it is, and that's it. So you don't have to touch it anymore. It's a really good feature. And if you're wondering, why the RAM doesn't wear out like the hard drive if you constantly keep writing onto it. Well, the hard drives, they can still last, I don't know, over 10 years. I got some old hard drives that, uh, that have been used constantly for like CCTV and they still work fine. There were some bad sectors, but anyway. The difference between the RAM and the hard drive is that RAM doesn't keep anything in the memory once the power goes out. Maybe for like 10 minutes maximum there is some bits of data might stay on it for that long but usually I don't know maybe like one minute after the power goes out the RAM is practically empty so the RAM is designed to take this kind of punishment with a lot of reads and writes so that's why you should put all the temporary files on the RAM you can do same with Windows but for Shadowblade this is this is perfect so if you have the opportunity use the RAM and finally, to answer the question, how much RAM do you need to use this? Well, as you can see in here, I have 7 gigs of RAM used currently, which means that 4 gigabytes is on the RAM disk, and 3 gigabytes is used for everything else, which is like Skype, uh, having this GeForce experience open. Let's close this and see if it changes. See, almost 100, 100 megabytes RAM free, just because that was running. And if we close Google Chrome, let's see how much this frees up, let's see. Well, there you go, see, 500 megabytes is what Google Chrome takes, that's, that's a lot. 
and for example on other screen I closed Skype and Steam it's just off the monitor uh, it didn't do much but anyway the question is how much RAM do you need I'd say 8 gigabytes you could get away with 8 gigs if you're using 2 gigabytes RAM disk but I would recommend having at least 12 gigabytes of RAM then you can allocate 3 to 4 gigs to RAM disk that's that's what I would recommend so it's up to you completely but for gaming you don't need more RAM than 8 gigs free I mean 8 gigs total so if you have 12 gigs then put 400 RAM disk and you still have 8 but that's completely up to you if you're if you're getting some hiccups in the games then you can just reduce the size on the RAM disk but anyway I hope this helps and explains to you how the Shadowplay can be better and I'll see you next time.